prepared. We come up with tempo. So each and every one of these songs that I'm going to be doing are around two minutes a piece. You have time. There is your first excuse. <laughs> gone. Gone. I destroyed that back in 2014. It was the first one I did was time. Excuse destroyed. Time. And I wrote out why and how. Check that out on WordPress. Polykinetics all the way at the bottom. My first few ones. You'll figure out exactly why I do what I do. So. Two minute songs are a great threshold. One minute to build up the body, one minute to burn it. I'll be doing the ACL format. So arms, core, legs, arms, core, legs, ACL, ACL. And staying on the beat the entire time. Do not deviate off the beat of whatever song that I play. Right? You know how to stay on beat. That is how this works. You must stay on that tempo rhythmic beat at all times. So we're gonna get right into it. Gonna start with arms, right? So I like using bilateral because it's two birds, one stone. Not only that, but you'll be able to feel which arm is particularly weaker than the other, how much, and if you're able to do this, that means your left and right hemisphere of your brain are communicating efficiently. Good for you, excellent, see? So. We're gonna do this now for two minutes and 18 seconds. We're gonna go overhead. If you're following along with me and overhead is not your friend, transverse plane is. So you're gonna come forward. Thank you so much. Good morning to everybody popping in. Thank you, thank you. Right, we're gonna get started in just a few seconds. And for some reason, if this becomes too intense, because I find this rather intense, you're gonna lean slightly forward, down, down, down. If you are starting down, your goal is to come up here. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Little warm up, no weights. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I mentioned the other day that frequently my electronics or my funny Every time I go live, something always happens, at least once. There's one kind of blooper, mishap, batteries are dying, electronics are glitching, and I'm always blaming it on my ancestors. No doubt it's them coming in saying, okay, we're ready to do tempo, and then they fry out my electronics. Thanks, Dad. Grandma, all y'all. My bad, my bad. We'll get better with this as time goes on, right? I'm not being perfect, it's about being progressive. I never pretend that I'm perfect, so I'm so far from it. I would be a bad job trying to pretend to be perfect. Mm -mm. Nope. And when you have my condition, there's really no kind of faking anything. Thank you everybody who is keep going in. I know, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. It's crazy, it glitches out and I swear, every single show will have some kind of a glitch some kind of a blooper, some kind of a mishap, a mistake of some sort. But I think that's kind of the point. I think that's part of the point is to, is to, is to put forth that we are going to make mistakes. We're going to have problems. The biggest important part is that we do not collapse and quit, is that we follow through. So like I could have been all pissy, like God bless it, I'm not, nope, nope, I'm not going back live. And instead I was like, no, fuck that, we're going back live. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna pick right back up where we left off. So uh, thank you for everybody who is coming back. Uh, I do appreciate that. I'm going to pick my workout up from the top again, doing tempo, ACL format, arms, core, legs. Whew. I'm gonna use weights because now I'm pissed. I wasn't pissed before, now I'm pissed. And when you have my condition, you don't just feel emotions, you really feel emotions like intensely so this will be a good one song is fitting too i could be super weird and blame it on a conspiracy but um I'd rather blame it on my dead ancestors, my crappy computer problems. It happens, y'all. Following through, the most important part, coming back, picking it back up. Failure is part of the process. Mistakes, part of the process. I learned 
discipline every time I come back after a mistake. It starts to hurt, I can't just sit there. I have to get up. Pushing through. Oh my God, it burns so bad. Oh my gosh. That burns. Thank God, core. Okay, we're gonna hold on to them. We start out slow. Build our way up. Four count. One, two, three. Push us to a two count. Two count. Focus is on the course. I'm gonna try to keep my arms exactly where the hell they are. Resisting my urge to switch to my upper body. So, using your arms, kind of punching diagonally downward. Ow! Mm. Keep it in here. We're going to two count this whole way. Next one will be eight count. Now I'm feeling this build up my back at the same time as my core. That's why it's hard to speak. <clears throat>
I'm paying for the crap that I eat, kind of, because it makes it harder to work. When I eat salads, I perform much better. So keep that in mind. fire like a bunch of a lot of paper and you see the little the fire kind of burning the edges away that's what my fucking muscle fibers feel like and I'm like but then after like a few seconds it goes away it's really weird and then you're like okay do it again so whew. tempo is the way to go ah All right, we're doing arms, following the ACL format. So the next one is arms. Pick whatever arm exercise you choose, whatever weight you want. Stay on that beat. This will be a fun one. All right, where's my weights? Oh yeah. I'm never in a hurry to kick my own ass, by the way. Never, never. So, all right. Slow extension, four count bicep curls. Bunch it, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Done. Oh no, I don't want to do that for a quarter. Kind of 
silly for core. We're gonna switch that up. We're gonna switch that up. So we're just going to put that one there. Okay, we can do this one. So I'm gonna do VCC from a sit it position for those who are going to be doing this. Let's see. You've been such an inspiration. Thank you. And check out those guns. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do get floored when people send me, when you all send me very awesome, touching messages. Because again, I revert right back to those moments when I was in my kitchen doing this alone in the dark, dim lit kitchen. If you've noticed, a lot of my stuff is dim lit because I've got horrible social anxiety. And a lot of that, I have unusual um, fear of cameras for some reason. But um, it, it pushes me literally to get out of bed and get on this camera every single solitary day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as I'm inspiring for you, you were definitely motivating, inspiring for me. So thank you. Um, whew, all right, so we're gonna be one, two, one, two, one, two. Let me see the position. Now, there's been some recent debate on whether it's harder to do in a, in a seated position if it's more intense because the length of that wave that travels is actually shorter than when you're standing. So do you, make, do you, do you feel it? If you, does it feel more intense when you're sitting versus when you're standing? Let me know. All right, here we go. Not that one. This one. Now again, you want to get obliques, just lean to the side. Two, one, two, one. Excuse me, polykinetics makes you burp, yoga makes you fart, pick your pain. Truth be told. <laughs> All right, breathing. Upper body. Working in the back as well. It's not always just the front. Woo! <sighs> just keep going. Now, intensities. There's a difference between doing this. And this. Different intensity levels. Just like in my condition. Same in motion. Different intensities. That is your choice. Unlike me, it's not a choice. You have a choice. Find your sweet spot. And you'll feel it because you're like, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm feeling it. Yeah. And then you try to hold on to it for as long as you can. That is a lot easier said than done, but two, two, one, two, two, one, two. Shoulders going back and forth, helping the core contract. Done. Simple. Simple. One minute each leg. Height is your choice. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You have to stay on that beat though. You get thrown off, you are either too high or too low. And fix it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. two.
right here. Whatever the hell you call this medical world, it's here. Woo! Hi, too. That's where I'm getting my little bubble butt. All right, so now we're at arms again. So, I'm going to sit. Four count, one, two, three, four. Transverse plane, I'm gonna to try to do this whole song two minutes, five seconds, doing this one single move without dropping my arms or stopping. I'm not gonna use my big pink ones, I'm not there yet, I know myself, I know myself. Nope, no, Ooh, four pounders. Eight pounds total. All right. One, two, one, two. Jelly arms, jelly arms. And guess what? You pick it back up and do it again. journal besides my time of when uh, I uh, failed out, fatigued out, whatever you want to call it, is how intensely did I struggle after that? Was it, oh no, I was able to finish the last half like a breeze. It was great. Or uh, shaking, shaking all the way through. It just depends. But make those little notes because as you progress, you look back at your notes, you'll say, oh, I was super shaky. And you do that song again. And you're not shaky at all. You're solid as a fucking rock. You're like, oh, that's how you know you're progressing. Without using your clothes, which can be deceiving. Without using a scale, which can be uh, demotivating. Without relying on the opinions of others, which can just piss you off to the best of their intentions. <sighs> this is how you know, personally. Hmm. You'll last longer. You'll do more reps. You'll do more sequences. Your form will be more solid. Your exercise executions will be more precise. That kind of thing. And then it gives shit if you're 180, 80 pounds, 380, doesn't matter. These are skills. This has nothing to do with aesthetics. So that's why I only use functional fitness movements, right? Got gotcha. y'all. But I am slight. And this is only the 11th song. <laughs> This cracks me up. I'm not surprised. I'm struggling a little bit. My body is still adjusting to the medication. This is day three, day two. Yeah, no, day three. Um, and you know what? Nothing bad. No, no crazy side effects at all. I can feel the slight difference. Yeah. So I'm taking a little bit to get used to that, but pretty good. So far, so good. Yay. See, very exciting. Um, that was my, one of my biggest fears about treatment was my body rejecting the treatment, my brain rejecting the treatment, but so far so good. <laughs> so as you can see, my coordination is not too bad. Nope. Well, so, so, but 
my endurance is uh, mm, that I'm gonna chuck it up to just not eating enough salads. I need to eat more salad. Yes. I also need to cut down on the amount of caffeine that I drink too. <laughs> mm. Oh well, it's for the better good. <laughs> All right, it's for the betterment of the future. Anyway, so are we doing core? Is that what we're doing? I'm gonna switch these up if that's true. So let me just switch this here. There we go. So now we're gonna do core. Eight counts again. Not that one. This one. Now I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground, but I'm gonna keep a nice little space. Leaning slightly forward. Just to show. I'm gonna have to downgrade down to a two beat. Two count, here we go. One, two, one, two. That eight count, you don't have to do that very long at all. One person's like, five minutes! I'm like, I'll see you in the emergency room. Don't get for five minutes. You're just starting the way. Two for 30 seconds. Mix it up with the tempos. That's why polykinetics does tempo scheming. Uh, uh, uh. squats in this next one. These are before count squats. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that. Thank you. Oh, here we go. So four count squats. One, two, three, four. Now if you want to use the big blue ball or whatever ball, color ball that you have, exercise ball, go for it. It's a great one for this one. I am going to actually do it without because I wanted to hit more of my quads than my inner. And when usually I use the ball, I kind of go outward with my feet like such because it's underneath the ball. So when I come down, I'm actually hitting that inner thigh versus this, toes going forward or going slightly diagonal, quad and butt. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't believe in twerking out. I don't like to twerk out because it puts a lot of pressure on my sciatica nerve. No, thank you. Um, not to mention the grinding sensation it makes. So I'm gonna pass on twerking out. But go for it if you wanna do it. Um, I'm gonna do squats. Let's do squats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
I'm pain mediating. Cause this, I'm on fire. I'm absolutely on fire. But I don't want to stop. I don't want to quit. Next one, Whew. the arms. I'm definitely gonna do it seated because I'm um, ow, ow. Whew. Okay. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Bye, fire, fire, fire. But you know what? I have never been more excited to put on a swimsuit ever in my entire life. Even from a double D down to a B. I can't wait to get into a swimsuit this year. I'm like, you. Oh, I've dodged them. I, I did a little bit for my daughter to try to um, put some self-esteem into her by showing her that I do love my body. She absolutely will learn how to love her own. And uh, especially with all of my, all of my scars. And you know, she calls hers, you know, her little tiger marks and everything anyway. So, but, I was really, I was really pushing hard. It wasn't because I wanted to, it's because I wanted to help my daughter. Um, so it wasn't because I, I, I genuinely, oh, I can't wait to wear a bathing suit. This year I'm like, I can't wait to wear a bathing suit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, whatever it may be. I don't want to be a bikini model. Never, ever will be a bikini model. Nope, that's not the point. And um, the whole thing is being comfortable in your skin no matter what it looks like. And I never thought I'd get to that point in my life, but here we are. And I, was, I expected to have way more problem of perfectionism, but nope, nope. I'm excited, I'm excited. And we're just gonna chip, you know, just build away, build up little by little each day. Little by little, right? Okay, moving on to the 13th song. Um, so this one is going to be, because this is a fast song, we're really going to feel this two count that I'm about to throw at us. So, one, two, one, two, one. This song is two minutes and 18 seconds. If you have been sitting there and you're just curious and you're just like, I don't know about this, this is the perfect, almost one of the perfect songs for you to try because it's, you're really going to feel it. Oh my gosh. Oh, good morning. Yeah, sip, sip. Pinky up. Sip, sip. Um, thank you. <laughs> uh, so if you've ever wanted to know the power of PK, this is a great one for that. Because of the speed of the song and how simple this movement is, your arms are going to feel like they have, they're made of concrete. They're going to start. <laughs> Even though it's your own natural body weight, it gets heavier over distance and time. <laughs> That's what we forgot in physics. So even though we are not physically moving, our arms are covering a distance. And of course, two minutes and 18 seconds, there is our time. The weight resistance is not only our body weight, but it's gravitational force on top of us. So ah, try to keep your arms up. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a lot faster than the other one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm learning. I'm getting better glasses too. Oh my gosh, that was too cute. Look at that. Yeah, we're going. We're fighting for it. Fighting. Mm. 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 Okay, nice big deep breath. And not only are we feeling when we start to burn, but where? Where do you start to burn? Yes. Thank you so much, Bruno. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling it. 
And I'm using that, channeling all that love right into this. How's everybody doing? We're one minute, 11 seconds in. One, one, one. All right, breathe. Feeling it in my right. Here it comes. All right, let's see. If I can keep my arms completely identical. Two, one, two, three. Up. They're dropping. Are they dropping? exercise is going to involve the ball. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. All right. So slow extended four count core crunch on the ball. When using the ball for this move, sit here, not here. Sit here. I kid you not. Watch. And then when you lean back, covers more of your back. Versus, if you want to challenge, then you can sit up here on the top. Yeah, you go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Just duet or stitch me in one of a video and make sure that I see it because I want to make sure that you're doing okay. Um, but sit on the side, and when we lean back, more of our body is covered. For safety. All right. Super simple. Two minutes, seven seconds. anybody who makes this any more complicated than this unless you're a specialized athlete and you need specialized training but even tempo I have t I've taken on athletes taken on bodybuilders I've taken on people with um, mobility issues like myself that I had uh, physically and mentally so feel free I love a challenge I love it 
I love it. My favorite one was um, one of my clients who was a stroke survivor. Now, I didn't know he was a stroke survivor when we first started working together. He didn't necessarily disclose that, but he did disclose at one time that he was having trouble going upstairs. He goes, everything's pretty, he didn't seem to have any motor problems, any problems that I could see, you know, if he was able to stay on the bead. And so that was great. He was putting up a good sweat, good effort. Um, but he said, for some reason, he had problems going up and down stairs after his stroke. And he would kind of, I guess in a way, kind of shuffle. And he couldn't just glide up and down, like walk or even run up and down those stairs. Um, like he really wanted to. But funny enough, it was this particular exercise. It was one, two, one, two, one, two. I always threw him a two count. We didn't do any tempos, any other tempos, because I wanted to keep it super, super simple. Um, and so we only did two count, but after a few weeks, he came up to me and he was so excited. And he told me that he had something had happened where he ended up having to go again up and down those stairs. And he said it was the first time he was actually able to go up and down those stairs without like shuffling down them. He said, I just walked down those stairs. I was like, are you serious? He goes, yeah. I go, do you understand what you're, you're implicating with this technique? Right. And he's like, uh, and I'm like, you're, you're a stroke survivor. I was like, that's huge. Cause funny enough, that's exactly the study. There was a study about stroke survivors that were actually in a comatose state and they used music to help, um, activate new brain pathways and, and neural activity. They just used music on, on these patients and they had actually generated new brain activity just with the use of music. So I was like, Oh yeah, we definitely have to do this music. That was, that was done by Harvard. Very inspired by that. Very inspired. So I was like, well, if you can do that for, for stroke survivors or stroke victims, um, then uh, it has to do something for depression. And funny enough, that's where my research began. I came across that 1987 book, Exercise in Mental Health, because I was specifically looking for anything exercise related. That was the first thing that popped up. So um, now we're trying that with bipolar disorder. I'm, a, I'm an experiment in process. So you're watching science in the making. Right? All right. Tempo training on bipolar disorder. There's one for y'all. <laughs>